Hey, it's David. I want to do another video today about comparing the Model S and the Model 3 in terms of energy consumptions. Uh, yes, there's been uh, a lot of videos already done uh, testing the energy consumptions at different speeds of both cars. The problem with these videos or with this test method is that um, you can't really compare it. You can uh, determine a certain energy consumption, but unless you drive both cars at the exact same time, same road, same speed and everything, so if the conditions are the identical, you can't really compare uh, energy consumption from one car to another. So today, that's exactly what I want to do. I found another Tesla owner with a Model 3. He agreed to help me with this video. What we're going to do is drive the exact same road. We're going to, uh, I picked a little uh, section of the freeway. We're just going to go back and forth. So it's a round trip. That eliminates um, the elevation changes. And um, so we want to drive uh, basically the exact same distance, exact same route, exact same moment, everything. And then we want to see how much each car uses. Again, it's not about uh, determining a certain energy consumption at a speed. It's just a relative uh, comparison. How much more energy does the uh, Model S need compared to the Model 3? Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Adel and he has his Model 3 with, uh, with him. And we're going to do a little side-by-side -side drive. Uh, we're going to go on a 91. Uh, for those who live in LA, you know that's very busy. That's why we're doing it at night, so there's less traffic here. And we're going to do a little round trip. I think it's about, uh, I don't know, maybe a little under 30 miles. And then we're going to compare how much energy his Model 3 used and how much my old Model S was using. All right, let's get going. Okay. So it has a couple of options. Okay. So I got A, B. Yeah. But also I have... Uh, from now and okay. since I start the last charging, charge. okay. So that will be the one which we will keep track okay. of. Or you can do like if you want to reset A, just yeah, so we, we can have do that. that. Yeah, sure. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. Uh, reset. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna do the same right now, and then we'll keep going. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna reset trip A. Reset, and here we go. to go on the freeway and you will see even though it's 8 30 at night there is still plenty of traffic here that's just when you live in LA or the greater LA area pretty much the entire uh, area around LA like like an 80 miles radius around LA is busy all the time at any given time of the day. I'm going to try to keep the speed at around 70 if I can, depending on the traffic. But we'll see. Might not be possible. There we go. Here we go. A little bit faster. I'm gonna try to go back to 70. Bingo. Awesome. So, despite the having the traffic and all of that, when you live in LA, these are the conditions. There is just that's a normal everyday driving day or driving conditions in Los Angeles so the test is basically not about what's the energy consumption at a certain speed it's more about driving a realistic uh, section around LA and see how much energy the car uses and then be able to compare that Model S and Model 3. Perfect. This is exactly where we started. Let's compare our numbers. 262 watt hours per mile. 7.5 kilowatt hours. Oh, All right, that. so what is yours? I Uses... got only six kilowatts. 
uh, you was only six kilowatt hours at 220. 20. Yeah, that's a lot lower. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, that is a big difference. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected though. Yeah, it's I'm so much of... more efficient. Yeah. Wow. So the results are not surprising. It kind of confirms what I was thinking. I used 7.5 kilowatt hours for this trip and Adel's Model 3 used only 6 kilowatt hours. That's a difference of exactly 20%. So in other words, for the exact same trip, exact same speed, exact same conditions, everything the same, the Model 3 is 20% more energy efficient than the Model S. Um, so that's, that's quite a difference, honestly. Um, and it's quite an achievement on Tesla's side. Uh, part of it is that the Model 3 is a smaller car, has less weight, but the other part is also that uh, Tesla worked on every component, mostly the motor and the drive unit, uh, the motor and the inverter combined, uh, is just more efficient. Um, that's, that's a known thing. Uh, it's a permanent magnet motor of a newer generation, basically, that is just more efficient than the Model S motor. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. If you like it, please feel free to share it, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment uh, if you like it. And uh, see you next time.